All right, good morning, good morning. Uh, <coughs> we're going to look at a potential window, and I stress the word potential, for weather modification using something radically different, which is artificial atmospheric ionization. I'd uh, like to talk a little bit about the experiment that we're going to be conducting a little later this year to test this hypothesis that I was talking about. Uh, we're going to have an ionization station that has a central tower and it has some peripheral posts, and that's only the support structure for the antenna, which is going to be a very thin wire antenna that goes around the peripheral post and radially to the central tower. And this thin wire is completely isolated electrically from all of these posts. There's going to be a generator that's going to be pumping a very high voltage into that thin wire, producing corona and liberating ions into the atmosphere. The station is going to be installed just south of the city of Laredo, Texas. Uh, and because of the prevailing summer winds, we estimate that the ellipse on this map is going to be more or less our operational area. And we have uh, defined a uh, spot which is going to be a witness area in the city of Freer, Texas. Uh, the objective is going to be to regulate the number of CCN that we have in the atmosphere. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to try to find the resonant value so that we can produce a condition or the conditions for giant aerosol that will produce the giant droplet that will translate to uh, precipitation.